you for watching Bobby's Briefings today. And um, I, I want to talk to you about an event that uh, has stuck with me all these many, many, many years. And, you know, some things that uh, happens that uh, unfurls in your life is just kind of something you never want to forget. And I, I don't want to forget this at all because it's, it's, a, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, treasure in my heart uh, to understand that God loves his people. God wants people to be saved. He wants these young people to know that he's God and that he knows all about them and loves them so much. Now, in this is kind of comical, but you'll have to watch it. Uh, I, I can't hardly tell the story without uh, now crying. But he, he, here, here's, I'm going to introduce you to one of my ministry partners. You ready? Here's one of my ministry partners. Here it is. That snort. Snort. The beanie baby snort. Oh, can you see him? Uh, he's very special to me. He sits right here in my office every day. Snort. This is, this is my ministry heifer. Let me tell you about Snort. You ready? Yes. Okay. I'm off doing ministry in, an, in another city, another town. And uh, the, the, pastor's daughter, the pastor's daughter, just a little bitty, uh, just a little bitty uh, girl, in the, in, just in school. And uh, her, she's, she came, uh, I was sitting in the pastor's study, uh, getting ready to go out and preach to all the people. And uh, it's the strangest thing. Uh, she comes. She comes walking uh, uh, in the office where I'm at. She's got her lips out like this. She's mad. She's a little bit. Got uh, uh, plaited hair. You know, just real pretty hair. And she's just a little bit. She's mad. She's got her face all mad like this. She's got her backpack on. She's come walking by me. And the Lord said, you see her? I said, yes. And he said, uh, she's really heartbroken. She's sad. And she doesn't know that I really love her. And her, see, her dad, let me tell you this is the setting of the story. Her dad had pastored a church in another city. And uh, uh, the little girl, all of her little friends went to that church. All of her little schoolmates went to that church. And now that God had moved her dad to another city, another the church and the little girl's mad she's mad at her dad she's mad at god she's mad at the whole thing she's so here she comes to the the place where i'm sitting and she's got that face long and she's a beautiful little thing that lip sticking out like this oh man and i said god do, do something that'll help her to understand your goodness and he said i stop her i said honey stop a minute she went around what you want i said uh uh I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show you how much God loves you. I'm going to show you right now how much God loves you and that he's got a good plan for you and he's on your side. And she said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to tell you what's in your backpack. Oh boy. She got that backpack and she looked at me and she said, you don't know me. You don't know my, what's in my backpack. And that's right. I didn't know her. I didn't know what was in her backpack, but I knew that God was talking to me. So I said, Lord, show me what. <laughs> I said, Lord, uh, show me what's in her backpack. And so help me, God. Just like that, the, the Lord said, it's full of beanie babies. I didn't know what a beanie baby was. But I said, honey, just to prove to you how much God loves you, your whole backpack is full of beanie babies. Her eyes popped open like that, and she fell down there on the floor. She grabbed her backpack. She unzipped her backpack and Beanie Babies just came boiling out of there. And uh, listen, for uh, it changed that little girl's whole life. I mean, over, um, over Beanie Babies. I'm telling you, it's just amazing. It's, it, uh, I watched her grow up. Uh, she, God, that, that changed her whole life concerning God. She knew that God was on her side. And for years, as she grew uh, every year, she would send me a Beanie Baby. Just to, just to confirm the fact that uh, God knows all about us and he loves us. He wants us to know no matter how mad, how disappointed, how disillusioned we are, he can, he can show you that he's on your side. And so uh, I gave all the little beanie babies away to uh, little uh, children around the world, but I, I've, kept, I've kept snort. And uh, every once in a while, I'll get snort out and I'll get my ministry heifer out and I'll, I'll talk to you about uh, being, being sensitive to uh, the needs of people. See, I could have tried to preach the gospel to that little girl. It would have meant nothing. It would be driving more nails into the resentment she had because she felt like God had just didn't care about her, moved her dad, moved her out of school, moved her to this place. But God does care. 
He knows every hair of our heads, numbered every thought in our mind. And uh, you say, Bobby, you mean you're emotional over a little beanie baby? No, I, I, I'm emotional over the goodness of God, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now, this lady, uh, this lady that uh, this beanie baby uh, once belonged to, gorgeous, full-grown lady and a marvelous, just absolutely uh, a, a great Christian person. And it all happened back there with a, bean, a stuck out lip and a bag full of beanie babies. Now, let me ask you something. Will you make yourself available to be sensitive to the needs of others and just say, oh God, if, if, you, if you can use me to, to speak life and light to someone's life, I want to. I volunteer. I want to be a mouthpiece and a conduit for your love and your mercy. So every once in a while, I'll get snorting down and I'll, 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 I'll think about uh, the little bitty girl that was so mad, so disillusioned, mad at God, mad at the church, mad at her daddy. But she loved beanie babies and God touched her right in her own heart. And God has a way of doing that. He knows how to speak to people. We sometimes kind of are baffled by it, but God knows what to say and how to say it in a way that it'll unlock hearts. And I'm, I'm telling you, God, God loves everyone. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So uh, I just wanted to share again with you, uh, Snort, the, he's the ministry assistant for Eagles View Ministry snort. Uh, I keep him on the uh, I keep him on the bookshelf back here because uh, there's thousands of little girls and little boys like that that feel like nobody cares for me. Look how people treat me. I'll tell you, but God loves you. Can I tell you one more story? These are these pull at my heart. Uh, I was preaching to a whole church full of pastors, having a pastor's conference, and I'd announced to these hundreds of pastors what I was going to be speaking on the following night, and so they here they come. And they, they just fill the whole building. These, ancient, these pastors are anxious to hear uh, a message from God. And uh, I'm in my office, and the Lord said, Hey, Bobby, I said, Yes. He said, You're not going to be speaking on what you said you're going to speak on. I said, Lord, but I told those pastors I was going to speak on uh, a certain topic. And he said, no, you're going to speak on something else. I said, okay, Lord, what am I going to speak on? Now, listen, hang on. He said, you're going to speak on what's up. I said, what? He said, you're going to speak on what's up. I said, Lord, uh, what's up? And he said, you're going to speak on what's up. Back then, one of the fast food chains would give a little uh, a, a sticker, a little sticker, that, and it said, what's up? And so anyway, long story short, uh, I, I, the Lord said, I want you to go out and preach on what's up tonight. And I, so I didn't, have, I didn't have a message on what's up. I didn't know what, I didn't know what was up. But I carried me, he said, carry the sticker with you. So I get out there with all the hundreds of pastors and I said, uh, I'm sorry, I won't be able to speak on the subject I announced that I was going to speak on because tonight I'm going to speak on what's up. And I held the sticker up, what's up. And a young girl started screaming, a, a college age girl starts screaming in the back and runs forward. What had happened that day, she tried to kill herself. She tried to commit suicide and didn't. And the Lord said, I, I want you to go to a certain town, go to a certain church tonight, and I'm going to prove to you once and for all that I love you and I've got a plan and a purpose for your life. And so she goes, okay. And he said, and be sure and carry your what's up sticker. And here I am with all those hundreds of pastors and held up a, a sticker that says, what's up? And that little girl that had tried to kill herself found out that she's got a God in heaven that loves her knows every hair on her head, every thought in her mind, and it gave her a whole new lease on life. Now, let me talk to some pastors just a moment. We've got to learn to be pliable. We've got to learn to be uh, moldable. And where we can change, Bob Jones used to say, Bobby, what we got to do is show up, be on time, and be empty-headed. That means not having any preconceived uh, uh, agenda. But uh, I'll never forget that in all my whole life because I didn't, I hadn't, I was clueless on what, what's up. But boy, you better follow God. God, God knows precisely what's up. And uh, listen, sometimes He'll lead you into things that you would never just do on your own. But God never, never does anything that does not woo people and draw people into the fountain filled with blood 
drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath its flood, lose all their guilt and stain. So you've heard about what's up and you've got to see uh, Snort. And I just want to tell you, God wants to use you in a very unique way. Inside of you, there's treasures that you can share with people about the love of God and the will of God and the purpose of God. God bless you and God bless your family. Thank you for watching.